Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the AIW number SDTB 3 quarter dash 6 by 24 brushed stainless 6 by 24 shower door towel bar and pull set is what this is. Let's pull it out of the box and take a closer look at it. Uh, AIW is a brand of towel bars that we have, and they do, other than towel bars, they do hinges. And we've been selling their towel bars for many years. Very nice quality product, very economical as well. Their material is tubular, which means it's a hollow tube of either, of either stainless steel or <clears throat> brass. Uh, being tubular will certainly contribute to it being more economical rather than, be, than it being a solid uh, piece of uh, material. So this is stainless steel, but it's just a hollow tube, so it's not solid stainless. We can supply you with solid stainless. Should you want your bars to be made of sol solid stainless, we can do that, or any architectural metal for that matter, brass, bronze, uh, type 316 stainless, uh, aluminum as well if you wanted aluminum-based material. Very attractive set of poles, however you're going to end up installing these. Let's let's disassemble the uh, common end. This is common. That's a free end. And down there is obviously a free end as well. Let's disassemble the common end. It will include a hardware package, as you can see there. A uh, couple of Allen wrenches, three Allen wrenches. Not sure where they're going with all three of those. Two of them to be sure. Um, that big one, I'm not, I'm not sure where that's going. Uh, that could be a, you know what I bet, it's a standard hardware package that they use for their hinges and their towel bars and they just slap them in there, is what they do. So there'll be the two smaller ones we're going to use for sure. That big one I'm sure is for putting a hinge together that they that they would uh, supply. Now the the middle size of all three of them I'm going to use to loosen the set screw that holds the common end together. I have that loosened. And all I did was loosen that set screw at the common end. The free ends don't have any set screws. They're just going to have its bolt. And we're going to, I'll demonstrate the common end and the free end on the smaller piece of equipment so that we're not holding up so much hardware in front of the camera. Okay, so we have our common end here. When I loosen that set screw, the bolt is going to come out, and this bolt is going to include some additional pieces, namely the nylon washers that are included, uh, and the bushing. And the bushing and the washers are there so as to prevent any contact from the metal with the glass. You don't want that at all. So we've removed that. That's a piece of welded in material that is tapped for the bolt installation. And when we get that pulled off, we're going to have our our bolt. I'm certainly a some metric thread. This is come this is an Asian imported item. You'll have two washers, just thin pieces of plastic, then a bushing. You're going to need a half inch hole in the material, even though that's not listed down below, I will have that added, and I'm looking at the extended description, I'll have that added. This will work for doors up to three quarter inch um, in thickness. If you needed it for a thicker door, that would not be a, well, that could be a challenge. Um, I don't know that we're going to be able to accommodate a metric thread cone head bolt like this. It's possible to do that. I could imagine how we might make that work with a metric flathead screw with a couple of small bushings um, to act as a shoulder, but nonetheless, up to three quarter inch. Uh, so all of that will go through the door, obviously. Okay, you'll attach that with the middle of the three. Oh, that's where the bigger one comes into play. That is where the larger of the three Allen wrenches will, will help us out. I'm used to those being a Phillips drive, is why I was assuming Okay, the larger of the three. Now we need all three of them. There we go. That'll get you nice and tight. 
get that threaded um, through the door into the pull handle I'm, I'm imagining on the inside of the unit okay you'll get that threaded in get that tightened down Okay, now we have our common end, which is here. The common end has a bolt. It has a small little black dot there. The tiny, the, th the smallest of the three, will go inside of that hole and simply act as a spanner wrench for you to be able to loosen and tighten that bolt. And as we loosen that bolt, it will have the same two washers and bushing. Okay, that's how that'll go. Now, the size of the material, this is a 6-inch center on our handle. 6-inch centers. It'll be 7.5 um, inch overall because it's 3 quarter inch diameter. Appears to be a bit shy on that. The diameter of the pole... Yeah, well, yeah, it's definitely shy. 0 0.7048 so 11 sixteenths is really what this is not quite three quarters but nonetheless six inch centers okay it's projection from the face of the door to the back of the pull handle we can gauge on the camera there about an inch and a half or so pardon me inch and three quarter okay then our and that's the six in the part number. Six inch centers are 24. That's certainly only going to mean 24 inch centers on our handle. 24 inch center on our handle. Okay. I believe the projection will be the same on this. Yeah, about an inch and three quarter projection, right in that range. Okay, now let's take a look. Now what I'd like to do is let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look at the extended description of this product and some supporting documentation from this manufacturer. So <clears throat> this is the item that we're looking at here. Here's our extended description. Solid brass or stainless steel tubing. Um, they do make an oil rub bronze, which will be a process over a brass-based material, but it's not solid brass. It's definitely tubular. Their hinges would be made of solid brass, but their, their towel bars and their pull handles are not. Center to center, 6-inch pull with an 18 or 24-inch towel bar. And what that's really coming into, um, coming into is a search for... the part number SDTB three quarter that's the diameter dash center to center of the pole by whatever the center to center is of the towel bar and then the finish brushed stainless chrome polished oil rubbed bronze polished brass uh, polished stainless then those same five options in the 24 inch variant okay so that's where that comes into play we're doing 6x24 in a BS brush stainless. Other sizes can be done upon request. We have occasionally get a request for an odd size. 3 quarter inch diameter will work from quarter to half inch uh, glass. Those bolts were long enough to get to 3 quarter inch in my estimation. Um, you're not going to have 3 quarter inch thick glass in a shower enclosure. And actually, no, I take that back. Uh, I did indeed say earlier three-quarter inch glass this is going to be up to half inch glass okay half inch glass that's a correction um, and then the other finishes that we spoke about earlier choice of no washer or with washer all that means is AIW can under the head of the pole give you a disc a like an eighth of an inch thick piece of matching architectural material that will give you the illusion of there being a larger base because well there is a larger base um, I don't see where those are listed but we'll get to the catalog and see if it comes up this set consists of one towel bar and one pole now 
the link here to the manufacturer's page. Let's go ahead and open that up. That will allow you to review not only all of the AIW products that we sell, okay, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. They have a shower door catalog and then a commercial hardware catalog. We'll just focus on the shower door hardware catalog. And as we scroll through, you're really going to find pole handles, towel bars, hinges uh, will be inside of here. And I'm scrolling to get, obviously, to our area. Back-to-back -back poles, should you need those. Towel bars only. And then, of course, the sets that we had discussed earlier. They can also do an 8-inch center, should that be something that you would like to have. An 8-inch on the pole handle. Now here are, let's see, here are the finger pole, the, the, the knobs and other poles other than having a D-shaped pole. But I do not see a reference to the washer or no washer at all. Um, let's see. I have to think that the accessory is what they're driving at in terms of that washer or no washer. I will review that with them and ask for clarification uh, on what exactly is available. Um, now you can see that the towel bars are available in these other sizes, okay, which are all listed here as well. And of course it took a call to the manufacturer to find out that those metal washers are simply listed here. So by the time you're seeing this video we'll have a link to those metal washers assuming they are indeed still available by that time. So that's where they are. They will simply give you, um, let's see if we can just kind of illustrate that a little bit better. You know if you have your pull handle here You know, if you want to give it the illusion of giving yourself, you know, a, a bit of a more, you know, uni a, a unique look, a little larger sort of preparation, that washer is going to increase that base. I like the washer itself um, because it increases the surface area that you're contacting your hardware uh, with, and it does look very nice. Um, we've done that as well um, with another manufacturer. So let's. Uh, as you continue on through the catalog, you'll see the knobs, some other hinges that are here, these mini shower door hinges. Uh, customers do bump into needing replacement hinges, and then they have these glass clamps. If you were to have a side light or, you know, some sort of use of glass where you're installing it as some sort of architectural detail. They do sell all of these polycarbonate extrusions as well, the wipes and the uh, pieces that are used to join glass together. The problem with this material is the length and the cost to ship it, so be mindful that ordering this material will prove to be, if you, especially if you need a small quantity, will prove to be uh, prohibitive in terms of the shipping charge. Um, okay, let's finish up this video on camera. So in conclusion, clients really like the AIW material. Um, certainly because it is very good quality material, there's no question. But also, you know, at the end of the day, it's just really um, attractive as well in terms of cost. Great value with the material. You can end up spending a lot more money on this sort of equipment. Um, and AIW just is a confluence of very good quality and exceptional value. Um, I only wish, quite honestly, that they had more material in their product line because they have very good customer service. They're prompt, reliable shipping. They keep it very no-nonsense. And, you know, it would be nice to be able to work with them uh, on a larger scale. If you have any questions on the AIWSDTB6X24BS or any other AIW product, uh, you probably see the name Rockwell thrown around as well. Or uh, if you have any questions on this product or any other AIW or Rockwell product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.